Hello everyone, my name is Rotero, and welcome back to Project Fire Sale Season 2, where we burn it to the ground, build it back up, and try and get back into the playoffs. Our team this season is going to be Colorado, and our featured match is going to be my old team, the Chicago Fire. Our first friendly of the 2017 preseason, and let's take a look at how that previous season ended, shall we? So, going to 2016, we saw how the table shook out. Sadly, we could not force our way into that playoff conversation with Chicago that we did climb off the bottom of the table when we were glued to it. Colorado? Eh, not so lucky. That's why we're here now. Portland wins the Shield with 67 points over a hard-charging Toronto with 65. Oops. As for the MLS Cup itself, Seattle takes it over Columbus. 1-0 in the final. So somewhat mimicking real life, Seattle wins themselves an MLS Cup in a very low-scoring game. So there you go, FM. Well done. You, you done predicted the future, so... Or at least the past? Whatever. Point is, uh, that's how it shook out. Let's look at how the awards happened for the year. Look at that Jovan Jones comeback player of the year. So I managed to get an award winner. Not sure what the criteria was, but I'll take it. Goalkeeper of the year, Bill Amid. Sean Johnson was nowhere close in the voting. That's kind of sad. Still Bill Amid, fine pick. Defender of the year, Matt Hedges over Eric Zavaleta and Stephen Batisher. MVP, Sebastian Jovinko over Diego Valeri and Fernando Adi. Again, it's Jovinko. No surprises there. The best 11, Jovinko and Damari up front. Damari with the golden boot with 20 goals. Dempsey behind him. Ladero, Evenschitz, Valeri, and Martinez. Burrito Martinez, doing well for RSL. Uh, Hedges, Zavaleta, and Anderson Conciaso. Hope I got that right. Uh, for Philly, who's just absolutely dominant at the back. Good pickup. And Nick Romando in goal. Coach of the year, Oscar Pareja, followed by Caleb Porter and Greg Burhalter. Goal of the year under Javon Watson. Golden Boot, like I said, Omar Damari, followed by Fernando Adi and Yuram Obsisian. Newcomer of the Year, well, gee, Nicholas Ladero. Is anyone surprised? Uh, no. No, we are not. But Gideon Bao is not far behind for the Red Bulls. Rookie of the Year, Jordan Morris, again, no one is shocked. Keegan Rosenberry and Fabian Herbers, not far behind. Humanitarian of the Year, Nick Romando. I'm not sure how FM calculates who's the best humanitarian, but... I'm sure there's a great reason in the logic somewhere for it. Armando Villarreal, Juan Guzman, and Ricardo Salazar. Really? All right. Top referees. Suleiman Kos, fairest player of the year. No yellows, no reds. Pretty good for the right sider. And Houston wins the team fair play award. So that is how it shook out. And so I moved to Colorado. And the first thing I did was I shook the staff up here. I needed to make some changes. I needed to shake things around. So here's who we have now. My assistant coach is Umit Davala. As far as assistant coaches go, it's a not a bad pickup for us. 41 caps for Turkey. Got that international experience. Hopefully he should do well to guide the club. Add some more coaches as well. I wanted to uh, flip things around, so uh, Adam Luke is brought in as a coach. On the scouting side, complete overhaul of the scouting team. Azad Karakus is the new chief data analyst. Barry Mir is the understudy. Four scouts, Carlo Cornazine, Mike Petke, George Rooney, Matt Williams. Good overhaul of the scouting team. Technically, Paul Bravo is still our chief scout and director, and I can't undo that, sadly. Though I would love to. But, uh, yeah, so that remains as is for the foreseeable future, as long as he continues to be a director. Can't, uh, can't get rid of him as a chief scout, though. So we're stuck with that. On the player side. The whole burn-it-down portion of this. Let's see how we've been doing. So, uh, yes. I couldn't resist signing one kid. 
Carlos Munoz from our academy. Decent kid. Decent prospect as far as defense goes. And we are a little bit thin on defense, so we'll see if he can play himself into a position. Great physicals. Fine mental attributes, too. It's just his technical we need to work on. Dave Romney we brought in in the waiver draft. I mean, you can't ask much more than that for your depth on defense. And that was a real need for us was to find better depth on the back line, especially with on the left side and in the attacking roles. So basically the extreme ends of the pitch. Carlo Velasco, we had a look at him from the draft. Ultimately, he wasn't any good to us. We got rid of him. Josh Williams brought him in his depth, and that ended up being a much better pickup for us. He might actually be starting on the right to us since we lost Marlon Hairston in the expansion draft. Mark Bloom brought him in on re-entry. Not, sure, uh, not sure I'm going to keep him past the squad registration, though. He's all right, but I don't think he's going to be uh, better than my current depth options. We also brought in Hercules Gomez on re-entry because I figured, hey... Hercules Gomez, if he's available, why not? He's got experience. Uh, two problems with that. One, he's on a massive contract. And two, he has fallen off a cliff. He's not the Herc Gomez of old. He will be cut. That's for sure. Sean Cavana on loan from Fulham to start on the left side, or at least be a regular backup. We agreed to rotation, so we're not on the hook for constantly playing him. But I need somebody who can provide that attacking verve a la Jovan Jones did for Chicago. And I figure Cavana is probably a good pick to do so. Also brought in Fernando Luis, a kid. 18-year-old kid. Brazilian. But uh, you got to like that kind of potential up front. And if I can get a kid in to push our, our veterans, especially Kevin Doyle, to be better, come off the bench and provide a spark, that's the kind of guy you want with pace to burn. We also, and I couldn't believe this, Mike McGee was actually cut. Nobody want him. But I did. 3.5 for Mike McGee? Yeah. And he's only making 2.9 a week. That's a steal of a deal. Absolute steal of us to get Mike McGee. So, so happy to get him. That instantly solved our, uh, solved our striker problems wholesale. Drafted Andy Patterson. The draft was very interesting. I'll get to this in a bit here as we look at the outside. Andy Patterson, he was, at the end of the day, our first pick. But try as I might, I was absolutely desperate to trade up and secure him so we could get him without any hassle. Wanted a good, solid, uh, left-sided prospect for us. But couldn't do it. No matter what offer I made in the Super Draft, even teams that accepted my offers, you couldn't confirm the offer. You just say, negotiate, and then it would hang. So they had some issues in the offseason with these drafts. Hopefully that'll be resolved as we tick these seasons along. That was uh, unfortunate. Also picked up Jim Martinez's depth, attacking midfielder. He's not going to see much, if at all, of the field, but at least we have him. And then we picked up Amar Kingwande from the academy just now, before the stream started, and I'll explain that in a second. On the outside, uh, Dominic Baji. Loaned out, free up some space and international spot. He's not going to crack the first team. Not in this build, anyway. Caleb Calvert, waived. John Burner, drafted away by LA. Marlon Harrison, drafted away by Minnesota. And then Jack McInerney, drafted away by Columbus. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute. Jack McInerney was on uh, Colorado? Yeah. Yeah, he was. And I'm a little bit peeved that he's not still. Connor Doyle, also let go. This was Greenspan loaned out, and then Ricardo Velasco and Mark Birch let go on freeze when the contract expired. We then sold Andrea Mazzarani to Frozen over 2.4 million. So there's your finances for the rebuild all taken care of right there. Let's take a look at the trades. So here's the thing I traded for, I got rid of Jeff Drain Jones for some TAM. I uh, picked up Jeff Lorenowitz for next to nothing. Two late draft picks? Yeah. Thank you, Big Red. Welcome aboard. Gershon Kofi, two draft picks for 2019. Again, excellent pickup. Replacing Jermaine Jones one for one and saving a ton of money in the process. Jack McInerney sent that TAM that I picked up with Jermaine Jones and a third round pick. So almost all my uh, draft picks gone, but we got Jack McInerney. I'm like, whoa, sweet. We get Jack back. 
Excellent. I have more striker depth. Then I offered him a bona fide offer, and he was still drafted away by Colorado in the re-entry, which is, should not happen. That is not how re-entry works. I mean, I offered Gersh a contract, signed it, he's good to go to 2018, almost an identical deal for Jack McInerney, and he's now in Columbus. It didn't make any sense whatsoever. Very unhappy with effectively getting screwed out of a good striker depth. By the game, not understanding how MLS works, but whatever. And my most recent trade, Vancouver actually came to me with this offer for Zach McMath. And again, I've already got Tim Howard. I might as well get something for McMath. So I have flipped him for some GAM, an international spot, and a second round pick next year. Because again, the, uh, the cupboard's kind of bare. So that is that. That is what the squad has been doing. Here's what we have right now. Tim Howard still starting in goal. Marcelino Navarro and Amar, and Amar Kingwande are my two goalkeepers again. Just kids, academy kids, just there to fill the ranks. Tim Howard, he's still the guy. So for the time being, until his uh, ability drops, he's the guy. Josh Williams right now projects to be our starting right back. Axel Tuberi and Jeff Lorenowitz starting at center back. Now, Lorenowitz, he's there right now because he is on paper the best option. I would He would prefer playing defensive mid, and I can't blame him. Well, we're going to start him in center back for now. We might obviously swap that around as the season goes on. Sean Gavana left. Sam Cronin in the hole. Ryan Tollingshead and Dylan Cern on the wings. Shkelson Gashi as the attacking midfielder underneath Kevin Doyle and Mike McGee. On the bench, Eric Miller, Mikhail Williams, Dave Romney, Andy Patterson, Gershon Kofi, who will be fighting with uh, Cronin for minutes. Sebastian Letu, Marco Papa, Zach Pfeffer, who's going to be the understudy to Gashi. And Fernando Luis. Now, uh, Sean St. Ledger is technically still on this team. I'm trying to move him. He's just going to get cut at registration if I can't. Mark Bloom, same idea. He's just going to be cut. Dennis Castillo, I actually have a deal in the works here to send him away for uh, 325000 So at his value. So that could be a nice little move for us. Carlos Munoz, our kid, is uh, injured. Jim Martinez is just hanging out. He's just uh, he's just there. We'll move him onto the uh, onto the game day roster just cause. And Her Gomez, like I said, he will be cut. He actually failed his fitness test, so we won't bring him in uh, for this. So I guess that means out there. We'll just dress him and then not play him. All right. Look at the tactics. The 4-4-2 wide diamond is going to be our formation until further notice. We'll see how that serves us. I have the narrow diamond, as always, as the backup. And I also have a 4-2-3-1. We'll see if 4-2-3-1 is going to fit this team better. We do have attacking wide players. And, of course, we have both Kofi and Cronin to play next to one another. So we'll see how this shakes out. So, to test this formation, everyone's just back from vacation. Let's test it out against my old team, Chicago. They got rid of George Saunders for next to nothing. But uh, they do have Jermaine Jones. So, let's see how we do. So my goal here is just to see if this formation works. I'm not looking for miracles. I'm not looking for, like, absolute knockdown play. Just, you know, show you got something. Uh, closing down Jermaine Jones, you think? You think there, unit? You think? Yeah, I'm glad I got this guy's tactical knowledge. I was basically following his advice wholesale going forward. Uh, make an impression? Uh, yeah. Uh, show me why, guys. Show me why. Why is Big Red nervous? Jeff Lorenowitz, come on. You've been through this before. Alright, just standard, just flexible, nothing fancy. Hot, 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 hot. And away we go. Chicago in red. Colorado in their alternate yellow and blue kits. Which, for my money, are ugly. But hey, what do I know? I prefer the burgundy. And uh, 
Now, I'm not the guy designing uh, or choosing kits match to match, so such is life. All right. Kavana is already in the Reverie's bad books a minute in. Awesome. Sean Johnson looks long. He's knocked down. David Akam. He's been on international duty with Ghana for a while. He's just back. Holster. Grabovoy. Deleu. Uriel! All <laughs> over the bar. Nope. Another chance here for Chicago. And he buries the free kick, Michael Deleu. Why could he do that more often when I was with him? Five in the wall, and he splits the seam. Come on. That's horrible defense. They just... They just stepped aside and let it go through. Come on. A uh, bit of irony here. When I switched myself over to being on Colorado, Colorado's old coach ended up coaching Chicago. So, interesting little bit of a freaky Fridaying, as it were. Villarreal. I would like to point out, though, if Chicago goes on a tear this season in the East, I built it. Just holding, putting it out there. A good block on that shot. I am more than a little concerned, though. Uh, let's flip to counter. This is getting more than a little bit concerning. Yes, they have a Jovan Jones and a Jermaine Jones on this team now. So uh, enjoy that one, uh, Chicago play-by-play. -play. This is not good. Renowitz. No book. Another free kick. It's going to be a Real over the bar. Shot 6 nothing. No possession. It's the 4-4-2 wide diamond. He is not showing well. We finally have a shot on target. Thank goodness. By McGee. Now Kavana will get his yellow. He'll be coming off at the half. McGee. Doyle. This is good. Gashi. Shkels and Gashi. Goes on a run, brought down, falling up is Doyle! Saved by Sean Johnson. Alright, that was better. That was better. The flip to counter seems to be working for us. And this time, we're getting a call in our favor. Colorado has been whistled for seven fouls. Kavana. Second effort for Renowitz. McGee. Also, Gashi saved by Sean Johnson. See, this is better. All right, so the counterattack was the right switch so far. Ugh, Hollingshead, damn it. Jones takes out Hollingshead. And just gets a warning for it. All right, cool. All right. Uh, not good enough, huh? Yeah, I agree. Sort it out, kids. All right. Let's get Kavana and Hollingshead off. So, uh, Williams would have been there. All right, Mikhail Williams. Yeah, Williams for Williams. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Kavana for Romney. I also have Eric Miller ready to jump in if needs be. Let me push Mikhail Williams into the center. If I might, I mean I probably will. Alright, so I have both of them listed as my center backs. Uh, the life. Uh, Cronin can stay. Hollingshead, you coming off. Uh, Litu, you're coming in. Cerna off. Papa on. Gashi Doyle and McGee can stay for now. We'll bring Pfeffer and Luis on at the hour mark. All right, guys. Second platoon.
Gashi. Doyle. Litu. Still Litu. Closed down by two members of Chicago. And Litu earns the free kick. Chalmera coming on. Marco Papa with the free kick. Opts to go backwards to Lorenowitz. Cronin. Gashi from distance saved by Sean Johnson. It's a rocket from Shkelzen Gashi. Gashi will now take the corner. Puts it up. Headed clear by Mara. Dave Romney will retreat and recover. He loses out there. Grab a boy. Joven Jones. Kevin Molino. Jermaine Jones. Advanced quite a bit. Dobra Walsy coming into the game. Fernandez with the corner. Cleared by Latou. Gashi blocks that. Not well, though. Fernandez floats it back in. Cleared by Mikhail Williams. McGee loses out awkwardly. Ndilu. Holster. Finley. As they work that side. Finley now with space. Vireal blocked. And this will stay in. Out. We'll avoid going up for a corner. It'll just be a throw. Taken by Mikhail Williams. Headed on by Latou. Hernandez is waiting for it. Polster. Sam Cronin takes that back, and Kevin Doyle has some room to move up. Floats one ahead to Mike McGee. Great ball from Kevin Doyle. He gets around his man. Finds Latou. Gashi! Can't bury it. He knows instinctively when to get forward? Sure. Does he know how to finish? Apparently not. All right. Uh, let's uh, get Patterson and Miller into this game. Patterson, what do you style yourself as? You're a better left sider. Yes, yes. Okay. So Patterson to the left. Miller to the right. You are better as a straight-on fullback. Good. Kale Williams just wants to play defensive center back. Romney. Uh, I was going to play his defend here. And Patterson is defensive fullback. So we'll change the shape of our back line considerably. Cronin for Gersh. Gersh, just uh, crack some ankles, would you, Gersh? Thanks. Zach Pfeffer. Into more of a supportive role. And Fernando Luis. We'll bring you on for McGee. More of an attacking option than a false nine. All right. Have at it, kids. We'll also let, uh... We'll let Navarro get some minutes here later on. Devon Cruz coming on for Joven Jones. Patterson. Rondo Luis. First time ball. Cleared by Yon Kapoha. Rashawn Kofi is there. Eric Miller, Sebastian Latou, Pfeffer, Luis, blocked. Pfeffer follows up. Marco Papa, oh, that's a beauty from Marco Papa. Floats that in with aplomb. So Luis does, takes the opportunity. Pfeffer follows up. Papa wide open, first time, left footer, curls it over Sean Johnson. That's just sublime. Oh, Dob Ross comes off. Ooh. And this Cavallini will come on, though. It's a short shift for Dobrowalski. Cavallini. Back to Cruz. Okay, Williams had enough of that. And Kapelhoff will recover. 
It was first time ball in the middle. Pfeffer will clear. Francis Luis comes sliding in. The youngster, no fear, but he had to be perfect, or that was an easy red. Fernando Luis. Zach Pfeffer. Those who flicked up once before, can they do it again? Kofi's shot is blocked. And Dilu tries to spring Cavallini. Eric Miller will hunt it down. There's some half chances there for both teams. Nothing really came of it. Doyle. He's out wide to Marco Papa. Wide open Papa, too. Takes a fortunate deflection to Gershon Kofi! Whose rocket is nowhere near the net. And just puts it up. Deleune. Near post. Oh, he'll be unfortunate. Oh, he'll feel that was unfortunate. No, I would say we dodged a bullet. Alright, we're going to change formations a little bit here. Come on, Doyle. There we go. All right, uh, Martinez, have some minutes for being a playmaker. Well, I just won't say no to having some playmaking on the field. Sort of an awkward four-five-one we're playing now. John Law will come on for Johan Kapelhoff. Kofi, Martinez. He's a good touch there, actually. Shot after coming on. Kofi. Martinez. Miller. Looks up. There's Pfeffer all alone. Not a nearly enough pace on that header. Sean Johnson brings it under control. Shots now even at 12 apiece. After a very rough start to this game. Colorado turned it around quite nicely. Martinez, nice little move. The two couldn't find the far post. There might be something to this squad after all. So need to make a few key moves. Cavallini. We're into stoppage time now. Two minutes for stoppages. In the, my first friendly. Colorado Rapids. So they to leave here with a one-all draw. I think I'll just burn a little more time by bringing Marcelino Navarro on for Tim Howard. Let the kids see out stoppage time. Hey, good job, kid. You kicked the ball. Well done. Two flicks it on. Probably not... A lot more than that, but Kofi will control. Romney to Kofi to Pfeffer. Long ball there from Romney, very hopeful. Nobody there. And that does it. One all it ends. My old team and my new team. Even. And good job, everyone with the comeback. I told them to perform, and they did. And now... Now we have to learn what we can from this and prepare for the season proper. Next time on Project Fire Sale, we will go ahead to our season opener. We got a whole bunch of friendlies left to go before we get there. And our season opener, in MLS, I believe, is against the New York Red Bulls. Let's wait for this to finish resolving itself here, but I'm pretty sure it'll be Chicago or excuse me, Colorado against NYRB. Yes, it is the New York Red Bulls. That will be our first Major League Soccer match of the 2017 season. Hope to see you there for that one. My name is Rochero. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell your friends about these videos on YouTube. Don't forget to join us in Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash where all these episodes are recorded live. 